This chicken tikka masala is so easy to make right at home with simple ingredients. So let's get started, folks. Hi everyone! Good, 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 good afternoon and welcome, welcome back to the Unsalted Kitchen again. Today I am going to make chicken tikka masala for dinner. Yes! So to do that, I'm going to need, of course, one pound of chicken, boneless. I'm going to use dark meat and four spices. I'm going to use garam masala, garlic powder, cardamom powder for ground, some ground coriander, ground cumin, ground turmeric, and this is optional. It's up to you if you want to use uh, or to have spicy in your tikka masala. I'm going to use crushed red pepper. We're gonna need onion, some garlic, some ginger, fresh, of course. Gonna need some unsalted butter. Gonna have some yogurt, plain yogurt. It's up to you what brand you're using or whatever you're comfortable with. I I don't have any, I don't have any brand, so whatever plain yogurt that I find, I will just grab it. Yeah. We're gonna need some uh, diced tomatoes, also tomato paste. I'm only going to use two tablespoons out of this. And of course, instead of using heavy whipped cream, I'm going to use coconut cream, just because I like the taste better than than heavy whip than heavy cream. All right, so let's get started, guys. We're gonna start with um, spices. We're gonna start mixing that first, and then we're gonna move on to chicken. All right, we'll see you in a bit. First, add the spices together, ground coriander, ground cardamom, ground cumin, garam masala, ground turmeric, crushed pepper flakes including ginger and garlic in a small bowl. And mix until well combined. Divide these mixtures in half and save the half for later. In a bowl with chicken, whisk yogurt and half of spice mixture and turn to coat. Then cover and chill for 30 to an hour inside refrigerator. Did you know that Greek yogurt has two important qualities that makes it really work as a marinade? It's called calcium and lactic acid. Together, they break down the protein in meat and poultry, leaving it super tender and moist. It's similar to acidic marinade made with citrus juices. Anyway, after an hour, preheat broiler. Line a baking sheet with foil. Arrange chicken in a single layer. Then broil until chicken starts to blacken in spots. Keep in mind that the chicken will not be cooked through. Cook this for about 10 minutes. As I was saying, there's a big catch using yogurt. Lactic acid is more mild than the acids found in citrus, vinegar, 
for wine so you don't run the same risk of a mushy or tough meat. All you get is tangy flavor and a bite after tender bite. Meanwhile, heat unsalted butter in a large pot over medium heat. Add onion, cook until it has started to soften and turn translucent. Add tomato paste, continue to cook while stirring often until tomato paste has darkened about 5 minutes. Did you know that chicken tikka masala is now a true British national dish? Not only because it is the most popular, but because it is a perfect illustration of the way Britain absorbs and adopts external influences. Chicken tikka is an Indian dish. The masala sauce was added to satisfy the desire of British people to have their meat served in gravy. Wow, that is so cool! Anyhow, let's continue to cook this tikka masala. After 5 minutes, add the remaining half of spice mixture and cook, stirring often until bottom of the pot begins to brown about 4 minutes extra once tomato paste has darkened add diced tomatoes with juices bring to a boil, reduce heat and simmer stirring often and scraping up brown bits from bottom of pot until sauce thickens uh, cook this for about 8 to 10 minutes. Anyhow, a tomato and coriander sauce is a common but no recipe for chicken tikka masala is standard. A survey found that of 48 different recipes, the only common ingredients was chicken. The sauce usually includes tomatoes, frequently as puree, heavy cream, coconut cream, and spices like many versions of its Namiseki Masala Spice Mix. The sauce and chicken pieces may be colored orange using foodstuffs such as turmeric, paprika, tomato puree or with food dye. The dish share some similarity with butter chicken both in the method of creation and appearance. After broiling the meat for 10 minutes, either cut chicken into bite-sized pieces or leave it as is to add the sauce and simmer but stirring occasionally until chicken is cooked through maybe an extra 8 to 10 minutes chicken tikka masala is composed of chicken tikka meaning boneless chunks of chicken marinated in spices and yogurt that are roasted in an oven served in a creamy curry sauce Garnish with dried leaves coriander. So, what are you waiting for? This rich and creamy flavorsome chicken tikka rivals any Indian restaurant. Why go out when you can make it better at home? With aromatic golden chicken pieces swimming in an incredible curry sauce, this chicken tikka masala recipe is one of the best you will try. Partner with rice or use as a dip with bread or tortilla. I like it with rice best because rice is life, folks. That's right. So, folks, thank you for watching the Insulted Kitchen channel once again. 
If you like this video, then hit like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates for new videos. Also, I would love to read your comments, so please tell me of what you think about this video. Until next time, see you later. Bye!